We all have our preferences when it comes to our cutting tools for our bug out bags. But some of us want to have a more agile option, something that's more lightweight, easy to carry. And then there's others that wish for a more capable system, a blade that can be used in a more serious survival situation. In this video, I'm going to give you various options to consider. This will include light duty options, medium duty options, and heavy duty options. I hope you enjoy. Light duty. With light duty knives, you can choose to carry more than one of them and have a backup. And even if you don't use your light duty knife as a primary knife, it can always be one that can be held in reserve. If I was to pick among these knives, I would probably pick the, uh, the Mora Companion and one of the uh, Swiss Army knives. Uh, but the Spyderco Delicas are a good option. Uh, you have buck knives. Uh, there's many different buck knives to pick from. Uh, some of the Gerbers are really good as well. Uh, Kershaw, K-Bar knives, CRKT knives. Uh, there's a lot of choices out there for light duty knives. Medium duty. Medium duty knives have the ability to do a lot of different things. They're strong enough to do most tasks, uh, but they're light enough to be carried as well throughout the day. Uh, I prefer those that are very comfortable in hand and that are easy to sharpen, like this uh, Mora Cansbull. I also like uh, this uh, Spyderco uh, Tenacious, uh, but you do have others, you know, the Sog uh, Field Knife, you have the, the Bird Care Care 2, uh, you have the Gerber Metolius, and you have Rescue Knives. So. Uh, there's a ton of options out there. It just depends on how much ability do you need. Heavy duty. In my estimation over the years, I've noticed that the heavy duty knives typically fall within four categories. You have the uh, camp utility, you have the fighting utility, you have the bushcraft and the quote unquote survival knives. You do also have folders in the mix. Uh, here's a Code Steel. Code Steel does make some amazingly heavy duty options. And if you're looking for one of those, uh, check them out. Uh, some options that I have, I have some charade knives uh, that would be really good for an actual uh, bushcraft scenario. Just like I have some Ontario knives as well that are good for bushcraft. You have some uh, K-Bar and K-Bar uh, style knives that are, are good for utility and for fighting, like a combat knife. Uh, Gerber makes, uh, like this uh, Gerber uh, Prodigy here, they make some really good survival knives, like just, uh, you know, full-on survival knives. But, you know, in the mix of all this, you have to think about, do you really need something this heavy duty? Especially if you're bugging out for just a few miles, or maybe a day or two. Uh, but if you think that your bug out uh, route is a high threat, you know, it's going to be a possibility though that, or at least a higher possibility that your bug out, you know, turns that into more of a survival scenario, then you might want to consider, you know, one of these. Um, definitely. So, you know, for me, uh, my favorite is probably going to be um, this Ontario. I recently ha had the blade reprofiled, uh, the secondary grind. And it's, it's really great, uh, 154 CM steel, but there's so many out there. So you're gonna have to definitely look into this. Uh, this category uh, can get expensive. You know, uh, well, heavy duty knives can get expensive. And you got to figure out in within that, that category, what subcategory do you wanna fall into? I think a lot of people probably would benefit more of a, from a camp utility or a bushcraft knife than an actual quote unquote survival knife or some type of combat. Uh, knife I, I just feel like that most people can get more out of it so for me the bushcraft knives are always on the top of my list thanks for watching